describe it very well. So they don't want to go back to the old growth model, which was uh, real estate and, and uh, investments in infrastructure. We've had enough of that. Uh, they want to move to a new growth model in which high-end technology, uh, and that is food, that is, uh, of course, uh, the technology and these sort of things stand central. Renewables fit into that as well. EVs, I think, stand into this as well. So you want to maximize that area that you want to grow, but that area that, that, that then grows is, is rather small in the overall pie, in the overall economy. So it won't allow you to grow the overall economy sufficiently to deal with issues such as unemployment. So you, you need to also probably go back to, uh, to real estate and infrastructure and be very specific there and minimize the amount of, uh, of, of stimulus that you provide there. Now, how are they going to do that in detail? Exactly as you say, we're waiting. We've got a new economic team that came in, what was it, uh, February uh, this year. Um, so they presumably have met, they've come up with plans, and uh, supposedly in the next month or so, uh, we're going to get some more details on what exactly they're going to do. And I think this is what the market is waiting for. It gives us an idea of what direction they're really going to go for. But I think we need to understand that growth numbers, in particular gro economic growth numbers, simply will continue to come down. And that, that might weigh on, on uh, long-term earnings prospects in China as, uh, as well.